Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a video I didn't think I'd be recording today, but I checked my mailbox and this was in it. The World of Cross Stitching November 2017 issue. So I thought, why not do a flip through right now while I have the time and I'm off work today. Now the free gift that was in it is a calendar, which is very cool because, oh my God, look at those bunny patterns, especially this one. He's reading the paper, sitting in a chair, and drinking a cup of cocoa, I guess. Aren't these the cutest? Oh my God, look at that one. I love bunnies. Love bunnies. So, yeah, it's a calendar and it has two months per page. So that's why you get six patterns with it. Love that. Yes, yes, yes. So all of those that you see on the front, you get the patterns for. And then there is also a bonus chart, a Christmas kitten. He's a cutie. So, like I said, here's the front cover. Let's just get right into it and see what's in this. Cause like I said, I literally just checked my mail about two minutes ago and was like, oh, I have to do the flip through. Okay, the first design is called Under the Mistletoe and it's by Lisa Alderson. Two birds sitting on a snowy tree branch. Trying to flip through it. Of course they have their letters from readers and things which are so awesome to see and read. The next design is called Joys of Harvest by Jenny Vandewiel. It's like ears of corn, you know, with some fall leaves and then there's sunflowers on this one. There was one project I saw on the cover. I'm very anxious to see that one. Now this is the pet of the month. What's the pet? Pekingese dog. And this person finished it on a stocking. Mm -hmm. The chart for that's on the next page. They also have a section, our best buys, where they review products that are out on the market. The next is an alphabet. It's called Shining Light by Shannon Wasseleaf. And it's, they consider it a colorful stained glass style Christmassy ABC. And here's an example of some letters that were stitched. But obviously on the next page is the pattern for all 26 letters of the alphabet. Let me see if I can show that to you without showing the pattern. No, but yeah, you can rest assured that, and they give you directions of how to patch it onto a napkin. They have an ask, ask the experts section in the spotlight. They, a lot of articles, and I know I say this every year. Here's a nice design called Seasons Greetings by Amanda Gregory. That's cute. I like that. Wow, a lot of ads in the middle. Okay, the next section is called Christmas Delights and they give you 53 festive ideas. Wow, okay. Here are some. Yeah, the putting the stitching around a candle, that seems to be pretty popular. Here's some other ones. Now all of these patterns are included behind those pictures. And there's like literally 53 different patterns. They just didn't show them all stitched up. There's ornaments and animals and penguins and all kinds of stuff. So great for little ornaments. 
The next one is called No Place Like Home by Doreen Jones. We all know who she is. The next one is called Join the Festivities, again by Doreen Jones. Some of these are really cute. And it looks like they were all finished as Christmas cards. The only thing with some of these designs is so much backstitch. I know backstitch can make the design. It really can to give it shape and things like that. But good God. This is pretty cool. By Lucy Heaton, Countdown to Christmas. It's a clock. And they finished it in a hoop. If you see, if you look at the top, you can see the, the hoop, the screw. Now, I am sure they give you how to make it into an actual clock that works. Let me see if it says it. It does, it does say it, how to make your own Christmas clock. Yeah, you have to just buy a clock mechanism. Yep, clock movement, short shaft, and clock hands plane. They even give you where to get it. Okay, this was the design that I looked at, and oh my God, this is really cute. This would look really great in your kitchen. This is by Rona Nori, and it's called Say It in Stitches. Okay. Your opinion is not the recipe. It's not in the recipe. I thought that was hilarious, but look how they finished it. They hung it on a wooden spoon. Are you kidding me right now? I actually really love that. Really, really love that. Yeah. And that doesn't look like it'd be too difficult to stitch. Like that. The next design is by April Rose Illustration and it's called From the Heart. There's a crossword. The next design is by Susan Bates and it's called Eastern Delights. Lots of little oriental designs in that one. And oriental sampler is what they call it. That may be it. That may have been the last design. It is, it's the last one. That was quick, a quick flip through. Of course in the back they give you how to, and they give you a preview of next month's itch issue. I cannot speak today, which unfortunately is my last issue. I decided to not subscribe to this next year, but lots of Christmas designs that look really cool, especially I've seen some people stitching this gingerbread one. Hmm. See that? That's going to be an issue. I know that there's a stitch along on Facebook for that. So that's cool. I really actually liked that and was like, eh, but if I have the pattern in the magazine, you know. But yeah, so there's some of the stuff that's coming next month. And then there's some more. They give you some more on the other side. But that's it for me today, folks. I hope that gave you an idea if you want to buy that magazine. I really like that kitchen design. That was my favorite one. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.